visual acuity is being reduced to an unacceptable level here. Hmm, it spins. So, that's not right. through a lot of effort to arrange this meeting. But before we go any further, answer my questions. Who the hell are you? I followed the Freedom Trail looking for the railroad. I'm not your enemy. If that's true, you have nothing to fear. Who told you how to contact us? I don't want to get anyone into trouble. We'll find out, one way or another. Last question. Why are you here? I found a Courser chip. Can your people decode it? You have what? This is not a joking matter. I didn't know we were having a party. What gives with my invitation? Oh, I see you invited the Courser killer. Nice. Deacon, you're late. You're saying this intruder actually killed a courser? Single-handedly? <laughs> oh, that'd give even Gloria a run for her money. Newsflash, boss. This guy is kind of a big deal. If you're done interrogating him, you might want to show this courser murdering machine a little courtesy. Hmm? Just a thought. I owe you an apology. Anyone who kills a courser is good in my book. I'm Desdemona, and I'm the leader of the railroad. Who are you people, exactly? In a world full of suspicion, treachery, and hunters, we're the synth's only friend. Des, we need to let him in. He's got an intact courser chip, for God's sake. That violates our security protocols. To hell with that! He killed a courser. There's no way he's working for the Institute. We're letting you into our headquarters. You're the first outsider ever to be given this privilege. We'll discuss the details about your chip inside. The least of which is losing the data. Fortunately, we have the right man for the job. Hey, dude. You need something? Tom, our visitor here has a courser chip. Whoa! For real? Oh, man, it's been ages! Right. Some ground rules. Tom can get you the code, but once he's done, we get the courser chip. Why do you want the Courser chip? Institute Tech is light years beyond what we have. And a Courser chip is top of the line. I'm not gonna get into details, but that chip could help us save lives. Maybe throw a wrench in some of the Institute's operations. So, hand over the chip. 
I don't know. I might need that ship later. This isn't a negotiation. This is a demand. To anybody else in the Commonwealth, all you have is two caps worth of salvage. With us, that data is priceless. But we're not just going to give that away. Talk to me again if you change your mind. There's more going on than you know. Trust me. Made up your mind. We decode the... Uh-huh. Fine. It's yours. All right. Tom, make it happen. All right, little Corsa Jim. Let's have the circuit analyzer take a crack at you. Hey. Give Tom Tom. We're in. Chip. chip accessed. Just poke the analog connectors a little. What? Oh, man. Don't, don't, don't crash. Hold it together. Memory hiccup. Here it comes. Encryption algorithms. All right. All right, we're still running. Oh, man, they've added more decimals to the last cipher. This is gonna be. Come on, baby, show me that pattern. Where is it? Wait, they're using the same logarithmic function as the key generator. Oh, man, we got lucky. I got you, you institute bastard. I got you. Software in. Come on, show me that sweet bass note. Come on, baby. Yeah, we got it. We got the code. <laughs> it was in the Let me load that onto the hollow tape for you. Good work, Tom. Yeah, but I'm not sure our luck will hold up next time, Des. Start working on the rest of the chip. And you, I'd love to work with you more. Let me know if you're interested. But to be crystal clear, if you use that data and discover anything involving the Institute, you share it with us first. Otherwise, our relationship will be in jeopardy. You gotta be careful, man. The Institute is everywhere. You. I'm not talking. Hi. Everyone's all, you've been hitting the cams way too hard. But I got my eyes open. I see. Ahem. If we're going to be dealing more with each other, I need to make sure that we're on the same page. You know what a synth is, right? Yeah, I know all about them. Good. The Institute treats synths as property, as tools. That sounds like slavery. Exactly. So we seek to free the synths from their bondage. Give them a chance at a real life. I have a question. The only question that matters. Would you risk your life for your fellow man? Even if that man is a synth? It depends on the circumstances. There's no middle ground with this. Would you risk death to save a synth or not? Once, I pledged my life to protect my countrymen. I don't see this as any different. Well said. Someone with your skills, your beliefs, normally we'd try and recruit you. But right now, we don't have the time to train up a new agent. There are, however, other valuable ways you can contribute. And in turn, we can help you. See Deacon for details. You're free to go. 